Hi there, on this screencast I'm going to um, change my lives remaining from text uh, until into uh, goose icon so that the user can see how many lives they have remaining um, by looking at uh, the quantity of uh, goose icons that appear I think in the upper right hand corner. So let's see what it looks like uh, after I finished it. Okay, so up here you can see instead of it saying lives remaining, I now have three uh, icons that shows that I have three lives remaining. Okay, so let's see uh, how I did this. So I actually made a new class and I called it Life Icon. So it's a new subclass of actor and if you look in its code, uh, there is essentially nothing all it does is appear on the screen so it doesn't do anything other than that uh, and I made its image be um, so let's see if you look at the image for it you'll see that it's one of the frames of the flying goose and now uh, this is the code for this is taken care of entirely in I believe in the world class uh, and maybe one other place. So if you, uh, if we look at my world class, um, we're gonna see that uh, I made, uh, uh, let's see, five uh, objects, or I declared five public life icon variables right here. So life one, life two, life three, life four, and life five. And this is underneath, uh, right where I'm declaring global variables in my world. All right, so then um, I made uh, a method down uh, at the bottom after the act method and it's called display lives. Now you may remember that I have a variable called lives remaining that basically keeps track of how many lives there are left in the game. So if you go down and look at my display lives it's nothing but a big if statement that checks to see what the value of lives remaining is and displays the appropriate um, uh, life icon objects based on that oh and I also forgot I need to actually construct uh, life icon objects in the constructor for my world so under public my world uh, you see the very bottom here you see life one equals new life icon and so on so those are ma actually making the objects that I'm going to display in the upper right hand corner when the game is running at the appropriate times so down in my display lives um, uh, method in my world uh, I have it checked to see how many lives are remaining and then it adds the uh, number the appropriate icons to the screen based on that so as you can see they're all 100 pixels down from the top of the screen if all if there are four lives remaining uh, it adds them at 100 pixels to the right of the uh, right edge or to the left of the right edge of the screen 200 300 and 400 then if it lives remaining is, is three it adds the three objects and removes the life four one and so on going all the way down uh, to uh, the bottom where there are zero lives remaining and it simply removes all of them. So now I have an easy method that I can uh, simply call every time the act method executes when the game is in specific modes. So when it's in uh, the countdown mode, which I'll get to in the next screencast, uh, all I do is add the statement display lives. When the game is in the, uh, let's see, running mode I always display lives uh, at the very in, in the act method uh, at the very first and actually let me make it be even before the spawn count variable because it's not really related to to spawn count so I'm going to uh, add display lives there and then I think maybe as soon as there was a collision I immediately updated the lives remaining so if you go um, to, because I found there was a little bit of delay uh, when as soon as there was a collision. So if I go into the goose class where my collision code is, uh, I think when I, when I decrease lives remaining, I instantly up display the, the lives on the screen. So 
you'll see yes. So right here, uh, world.lives remaining minus minus. Uh, I'm going to immediately call the display lives method of my world, and that's going to update the lives remaining uh, icons on the screen. So let's look at what it looks like when you're running it one more time. So I start, I have three lives remaining. I cruise along here. And then watch for it to go up as soon as I hit 10. Yep, now I'm up to lives remaining is four. Now I'm back down to three because I just uh, collided with something. Down to two. Down to one. And down to zero. And now the game is over. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, that game gives your game a little bit of a professional look. And we'll move on to the countdown uh, in the next screencast.